Today we're going to be learning about the area model of division. Let's take a look at the problem 952 divided by 7. Since we're using the area model method, the first thing we have to do is set up our model. The number 952 has three digits, two ones, five two, five tens, sorry, and nine hundreds. So we're going to need three boxes. Now, since we're dividing by 7, we will place the 7 next to the box and place the 952 inside of the first box. Now, the goal in the area model method is to find the largest number that can fit under, that's a multiple of 7 that we can subtract from 952 without going over. So let's create our help box to start with. Now, we start with the we start with the highest place, which in this case is hundreds. So, we start with multiplying 7 times 100, finding that equals 700. Now, 700 is less than 952, but maybe we can go larger. Let's check. 7 times 200 would equal 1,400. Now, that's definitely larger than 952. So we'll take this 100 times, or 7 times 100. So we place the 100 above the first column box and put the 700 that it equals inside. And then we subtract. And we get 252, which we move to the second box. Now we do the same thing again, but with numbers in the tens place. So we start with 7 times 10. which gives us 70. Then we move on to 7 times 20. Now remember, when multiplying a number times a tens, you just take that number times the other number, so in this case 7 times 2, and you add the 0 onto the end. So 7 times 2 is 14, so 140 0 is 140 after we add the 0. So let's, that's, we could probably go larger than that. Let's try 3. 7 times 30 is 210. We're getting close, but maybe one more. 7 times 40, just to make sure we're not going under. Yep, 280 is too large. So we're going to stick with the 7 times 30. So we'll put 30 above the box. 7 times 30 is 210, which we put inside. That leave, We run our subtraction, and that leaves us with 42. So we move 42 to the last box. So, we remember from our multiplication tables that 7 times 6 is 42. So we can just put 6 in the top, subtract 42, and we get 0. Now remember, if you can't think of your multiplication tables off the top of your head, you should start to study them, but for now you can do that work down in your work box. So that leaves us with 0. So we add up what's on the top, and we get 136. So we know that 952 divided by 7 equals 136. Now, I have another problem that I want you to look at. 864 divided by 6. Now go ahead and pause the video, do it on your own little scrap paper, and when you're ready, unpause it, and I'll walk you through it. Make sure you got it right. Welcome back. I trust you had some success, but let's double check. So we had 864 divided by 6. So again, we have three digits, four ones, six tens, and eight hundreds. So we make our box with three boxes. Or we make our model with three boxes. We place our six off to the side, and our 864 in the first box. So we start with the hundreds. Let's make our help box. So, 6 times 100 gives us 600, and 6 times 200 gives us 1,200. So that's too high, so we go back to the last one we had that was below, which was 600. So we place 600 in the box, 
after with 100 on top, because 600 times 6 times 100 is 600. And we subtract 264, which we move to the next box. So now we're by the tens. So we start with 6 times 10, giving us 60. 6 times 20 is 120. 6 times 30 is 180. 6 times 4 is 240. Now we're getting close, but it's always better to be on the safe side. So let's do 6 times 50, just in case. 6 times 5 is 30. So split the extra zero, that gives us 300. You can see 100 is too high. So, we know that 6 times 40 is what we need. So we put 40 up top, and 6 times 40 is 240, and then we subtract. Which gives us 24, which we then move to the next box. Now, again, you need to be studying your multiplication tables. You shouldn't need to put this in your help box. So 6 times 4 is 24. So we subtract the 2. Nothing left over. So we know that 100 plus 40 plus 4 gives us 144. So eight, 864 divided by 6 is 144. Now hopefully you got that right. If not, I'd recommend watching this again, maybe double-checking your work. I hope you've enjoyed it.